So we're going to have a time of prayer together now. Lord God, we thank you that you hear our prayers. We thank you that as we gather, you are in our midst. We thank you that you love us, that you love those we know more than we do. That your heart is to step in and to save. That as people turn to you, they find you running towards them, with arms open wide, welcoming them home, celebrating their return. Lord, we pray that your church would help people to see that you're there waiting, ready to receive them home. Lord, we pray for those who lead. May they have the grace and compassion to manage well the different uh, conflict between us. May they know your truth and speak with your courage. Lord, we pray for the leaders of our nation, that as uh, the summer rolls through, as things perhaps become just a margin quieter, that they would find time to rest, to recoup, to reflect, that as things perhaps become more, uh, more urgent as we move into the autumn, they will have the energy to continue serving faithfully. Lord, we pray for those who are struggling with sickness and ill health, we pray for those who have had their normal treatment interrupted by the COVID crisis. We pray for those who are grieving. Lord, we know that as we remember them, you are present with them. That as we care for them, you love them enough to send your son to die for them. Lord, we ask that they would know your presence with them today and be restored by your love. Amen. I'm going to encourage you again uh, to pause the video at this point uh, and to spend some time praying on your on your own, um, say your own words of prayer. There are things that God will be laying on your heart that I may know nothing about and it's uh, a chance for us to all share in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So we're going to have our next uh, hymn now, King of Kings. 